coming up in this week's episode. Which way are we going? <laughs> There's a, literally a fork in the road, mate. Mate, we'll stick to the left, okay? That way? Uh, uh, you're rather, way, you're rather left. left. Yeah. <laughs> Don't worry, folks, there's still another we are educating him. 10 so. years before he is going to be on the road. So there's plenty of time for us to get left and right sorted out. We're just in this, the quarantine area to get rid of all our fruit and veg that's prohibited. I'm not getting caught out this time. <laughs> We've eaten just about everything. We're just um, oh having a God. salad for lunch to eat up the last of the, the kiwis and the tomatoes that we had. Fantastic. Oh, yeah, you have I, mate. Mm -hmm. Gee, you love your avocado, don't you? Mm -hmm. So good. So yeah, so we're probably 150 kilometers from Mildura. We've already done 260 today. So we haven't got too far to go, have we? The yeah. weather's been really good. It's been a bit busier today, I've noticed, which is a bit strange for how far west we are. We've gone through Hay. Hey. 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 Almost hey. at Euston. I think it's called. Houston, we have a problem. <laughs> Different sort of Houston, not Houston. All right, show us that food, Katie. Come on. Righto. Get it over here. For you. I'll mm. just get you a little bit of Look soap. Look at that. That's all. Oh, I've got to get vitamins, life. vitamins. Well, ones. besides the things that aren't fruit and veg, none of it's allowed. <laughs> just fruit, really, um, to keep the fruit fly out. But there's a, a sign down at the quarantine bin that tells you exactly what you got to get rid of and um, online as well. I looked up last night just to make sure that I was across it. And What's weird um, is that the quarantine bins have no lids. <laughs> so it just invites the fruit flies yeah, in. Yeah, exactly. You know, and they stay yeah. on the outskirts. Mm. It's pretty funny. Raining. There you go, does include some veggies, Jasper. Apple, avocado, banana, blueberry, capsicum, cherry, chili, grapefruit, lemon, loquat, whatever that is, mango, nectarine, orange, peach, pear, plum, raspberry, strawberry, table grape, tomato, and eggplant. All right. That up. Place in a bin. And they probably need to put some lids on their it's bins, raining. don't they? That is raining. Right up, let's do it. Woo! She's hot, 36 degrees. Oh yes, it definitely is. Although it is so beautiful, the weather has been picture perfect while we've been down here in Mildura. Yes, okay, and we are about to roll out, but we have had an epic, probably best part of a week. We rolled in to catch up with our good mate, Ben, but first we stopped by Bottle Bend Free Camp. The amount of so free good. camps along the Murray River are just remarkable. You look them up on wiki camps, they're everywhere. Yeah. We'd actually love to follow the Murray and, you know, try out lots of the different free camps through all the different states that the Murray crosses. But Bottle Bend was awesome it's because so there was good. hardly anybody there. And I think the hot tip is to go outside of school holiday period. Absolutely, because as much as there seems to be endless camp spots and opportunity, mm. it gets absolutely packed, yeah. especially around Easter, because yes. we've been camping here a couple of times in Easter and running up and down that Murray in a boat and seeing how packed it is, it's amazing it and, is and amazing. it's free. So yeah. that's so pretty awesome. cool. The contrast is coming through all of those vibrant green vineyards and yeah. then you're almost in this... It's real barren, isn't it? Yeah, really dry landscape yeah. pretty much like you're in outer space it, yeah. it's exactly <laughs> like that yes so we caught up with ben and yeah. we said to him that we are heading down to 
Adelaide. Yeah, and we were on the run. We were staying one night only. Yeah, we, we've got a flight. We've got to get from there to Melbourne, which seemed a bit weird because we were, you know, just there. But yeah. anyways, he said, look, I'm flying down there tomorrow. And so, I mean, you know, who says that? Yeah, I know. Well, who has a mate with his own plane? Thank you, Ben. You're amazing. You, you are a you. legend. So, yeah, what did you think of the flight? It was pretty. Actually, it was amazing. It, it was, was amazing. amazing. Yeah. And we got down there to the Australian Antenna Awards. It is the recognition for community television in Australia. And what award were we up for, Jaffa? The, um... <laughs> Best Outdoor Recreational Program of the Year. Mm -hmm. Yes, how'd we go? Winners. <laughs> Winners are grinners. <laughs> Winners. Oh, mate, I tell you what, we're it still was an pinching amazing ourselves. Surprise. Yeah. Yep. I mean, you were extra grinning, mate. <laughs> Although, what's going on over there? You've... Yeah, what's happening here? <laughs> yeah, had a visit from the Tooth Fairy while we've been down here. Twice. Yeah, yeah. look at that. What's the song you're singing now? Christmas is my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> it's a classic, but it's a good one. We wanted to share our excitement because we uh, we just feel so full of gratitude that we get to actually share our story on community television here in Australia. Mm -hmm. uh, that's you know every Sunday night at 7 p.m. in Melbourne and also in Adelaide. Uh, we've got a huge audience in both cities and thank you to everyone, everyone. out there who watches yeah. through community telly and then to all the organisers. There's so many people behind the scenes that you just... The event was awesome, yeah, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. They, they probably don't get all that recognition, but they were awesome, so thank you. And then to take away the gong. Oh, amazing. And even, to get dressed up all fancy. That even was when nice. we still hear it, we yeah. still are just like... How? <laughs> I know! That happened! I know! We'll share a, a bit of the acceptance speech. It's only two minutes long. Here it is. Best outdoor and field recreation program goes to the field of the I get a break for Tom Cruise. I mean, come on. Hey, how good is this? What do you think, Justin? <laughs> Tell you why it's wow is because we live in a caravan and we've been traveling in Australia yeah. for four years, so this is amazing. Yeah, don't ask us where we got these from, but thank you, Lifeline, for dressing us tonight. Uh, no, this is amazing, and uh, to all the nominees, to everyone that's here, that's a part of this community, Community Television Australia. Wow, what a gift it is to be able to produce content, to be able to share your story, and so well done to everyone here tonight. Uh, we really want to thank Channel 31, Channel 44. Uh, we just celebrated 200 episodes. We, we uh, <laughs> absolutely uh, pinch ourselves every single Sunday, 7 p.m. or check your local guides. Uh, and to our YouTube family that is now over 30,000, thank you. To our weekly podcast listen to in 82 countries, uh, thank you. <laughs> We also celebrated 200 episodes with them. Katie, you should talk. We're so thrilled to be here and we're so thrilled to be a part of this amazing community. And never in our wildest dreams when we set off traveling around Australia did we ever think that we'll be standing up here amongst all of you. And so we're just so thrilled and feel so privileged. Yes, and to our partners, thank you so much for making our lifestyle possible. And to everyone out there who, uh, you know, maybe have a dream or a wish or a goal. Don't let the good opinion of others tell you that you can't do it because otherwise we wouldn't be standing here. Uh, to irresponsibility, that's what we were told. Uh, get a little irresponsible, uh, get off the couch, not only with Ethan, but get out of your comfort zone and get out there. And to all the parents, you only get 18 summers with your kids. So hug them, hold them tight, get out, see the world's best backyard Australia. We love it. Thank you so much. There you go. So yeah, still buzzing. The feel goods are, are, are feeling amazing, to be yep. honest. Yeah, yep. such a gift. Yeah, a amazing family. <laughs> <laughs> Change the name. We could, we could. All right. And so then from here now, it is on to South Australia. Uh, we've just pulled over just for a quick stop. 
yep. uh, a cup of tea and we are on the road. We're almost into South Australia border. Yeah. Very, very strict quarantine. On the Katie. Road again. Yes, we anybody who has seen us and has known that we are about to cross the border has said to us, don't take anything, don't risk it. They've actually had a bit of a, a fruit fly breakout in the Riverland region, I believe, which is normally fruit fry. Try to say that. Fruit fly fruit friendly. Fly free. Free. <laughs> um, and so the best way is just to not have any fresh produce. And apparently the, the fines, the, oh, we've heard of some people copying some pretty serious fines. $900 is the fine currently. Ouch. Yeah, that, that is. I just went and did a triple check that I'd got everything. That's going to hurt. Yeah, we left all of our fruit and veg with Ben, so. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's a couple of tanks of fuel. Yeah. All right, so we're on the road. Let's kick it now and get in. We love yeah. the daylight savings. Awesome. And we're staying at the Big Four in Renmark, which we have stayed at before years ago. Yeah, we did. And it is so beautiful. It's right on the Murray River. So I'm really looking forward to that. Especially yeah. when you have got weather like this. I know. All right, let's crank it. Ready to go? Yep. All righty. Good boy. Let's do it. Out of space. <laughs> it was like out of space. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone buckled? Here we go. Yep. Here we go. Barossa Off-Road, South Australia. How good is this? Why are we here? Well, Ben, Nigel and the team here, they do it all. If you've got a four-wheel drive, a caravan, a camper, and you need some advice, you need some help, you need to get a build done, you need to get a GVM, a GCM, upgrades, build from scratch, whatever it is, they are the team to see. Family-owned business, and they're just good people. Love it. Aussie's giving it a crack and doing good things and doing great work. They are also South Australia's primary dealer for the Bush Company. And that is why we are here with the Feel Goods 79 to get the 180 XT Max awning fitted to our mode canopy. How good is that? And they've even jumped in on our ultimate touring giveaway, meaning that they are throwing in their best selling 270 XT awning into the prize pool, which means it's now Gosh, somewhere around 38 grand. There is only a few weeks left for you to enter that. Winner takes all. You've got to be in it to win it. Visit our website. It is thefeelgoodfamily.com. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. It is that easy. Good luck. Somebody is going to have the best Christmas present ever. I hope it's you. Thank you to the Bush Company for jumping on board and to Barossa Off-Road for doing such a great job and squeezing us in. Thanks, guys. Murray River behind us. We're at the Renmark, Big Four Renmark, I should say. We love it here. It's our second visit, as we mentioned, and we we did remember it being cool, but this is fantastic. I know. I really love it here. I really think that this would be somewhere where you could block out a couple of weeks and come yeah. and just park up and make the best use of the river because it is so stunning. <laughs> and we're about to run into Jasper. <laughs> Hey, oh, I'm going oh the wrong geez, way. hang on. Oh, handbrake. Do you want me to push up the hill? Yeah, I get it. Oh, get yeah, up there, mate. Goodbye. Look at that. They had some devastating floods here. They put that basically built themselves almost like a, a compound wall all the way around. In fact, back there where the riverfront is, they had that same height the entire way around this park. And this park is the biggest park we have ever stayed in. It is massive. It is huge. It was really sad actually, the flooding with the Murray and obviously plenty of places impacted mm. really badly. These guys were closed. 
over the last summer period to get the park back up and operational and what they've done is remarkable because coming yeah. here you wouldn't even know that they'd had any damage no it is it is incredible the whole place is manicured but they do have an army of people getting around and their little golf buggies from horticulture guys to all of the the different operations team it is fantastic and they can't do enough to help you mm. i mean yeah, they, they are, got the staff right here that's for sure yeah they're open from 8 a.m to 8 p.m so anything you need you just duck down to reception or give them a bell and they sort it out so it's really great there's so many different accommodation options oh he's got the skids on now look at him. i love it it's unreal isn't it you know some of these sort of uh, i guess other equipment hires can be quite up there but it's worth their dollars i tell you what it wears him out he absolutely this is the highlight for him of this whole experience. well i was gonna say i think this is the first time where he's actually been able to really do the pedal car for a good period of time by himself he's just <laughs> otherwise been so little go speedy <laughs> the toothless terror he's on his way <laughs> Okay, other things that have improved or changed since we were here, as I mentioned, loads of different accommodations from powered, unpowered sites to powered cabins uh, that are uh, like for a couple to full family, like you could have, God, eight people in those cabins. Yeah. It's amazing. Their glamping tents are unbelievable. They let me go through one of those, so I'll overlay some of the footage there of one of those. Yeah, that's a bit nice. It's a isn't tennis it? court. There's the jumping pillow. There's the heated spa. There's the, the splash park. It is amazing. The pool. It, it's, it's just fantastic. There's an indoor and outdoor cinema that shows five films every single day. Mm -hmm. There's a yoga center. There's a fitness center. There's mm -hmm. a toddler uh, area that's dedicated just to toddlers. That's indoors and air conditioned. And something very unique and it's part of their award winning uh, tourism awards here is that they have a sensory room mm. so it, they've got everything it's amazing it is amazing and then of course that river frontage now we're on one of the premium powered although we're not plugged in thank you very much premium powered uh, riverfront sites and obviously that would be our tip if you are coming here to make the most of yeah. the murray you can hire canoes the mighty murray katie you gotta say it. the mighty murray yeah, that's it you know you can hire canoes you can get out on a boat there's the barbecue pontoons you can fish off the banks well <laughs> you know our little fisherman he got onto that barra only a couple of weeks ago there up in the daintree and then put the challenge to me and he's he's got it he, he is literally hooked it is awesome i know i love it and he loves it too and what's even better is that he loves the the act or the art of fishing he doesn't even need to get to yeah. catch a fish that's just the bonus he said to me when nothing was happening he looks at me and goes this is really enjoyable dad i'm really enjoying this isn't that great all right we're going to wrap up yes jasper Ernie? which way are we going <laughs> there's a, literally a fork in the road mate mate we'll stick to the left okay that way uh, uh, you rather you rather left left yeah <laughs> don't worry going? folks there's still another we are educating him 10 so. years before he is going to be on the road so there's plenty of time for us to get left and right sorted out wow all right there you go yeah. Come on, mate. Start your engines. Oh, look at that pedal power. Sound effects. <laughs> I love it. You'll sleep well tonight, fully. So will I. off-grid camping at its best this particular off-grid campsite is in south australia now i'm not going to give it away yet i'll do a quick turnaround you might recognize it if you've stayed here before but in a couple of weeks we will actually feature this particular campground tell you where it is and how you can come stay here because it's it's such a fantastic location and it's close 
to all the vineyards. There you go, that's my clue. Right, let's have a chat because there's been a lot of questions around our power solutions with the Zone RV. Now, we are four years into traveling full time, only just gone over a year with our Zone RV. But the two things really that determine how long you can stay and play when you find, you know, gems like this and you think, oh, gee, I wish I could stay longer, but one, I haven't got enough water. Two, I haven't got enough power. So they're the sticking points, generally speaking. Oh, and maybe haven't got enough pheno. Although there's plenty of pheno here, let me tell you that. Uh, but what happened for us is as we traveled and we had our vans, we really started to step up through that time into what we now have, which is the lithium solutions with our Red Arc as a total vehicle management system, a TVMS, on board in the zone. Basically what that means is that we have 600 amp hours of lithium, we have 1260 watts of solar, that is seven times 180 Red Arc solar panels. Not all solar panels are created equal, I can tell you that much, I know that. Uh, and then really with our 600 amp hours of lithium and that battery management system and all of that tech we can stay off grid and not ever worry about our power and what is so fantastic about this is that we've literally been unplugged for the last year there's been a couple of times when we have plugged in uh, for different reasons one was in extreme heat only last week it was 44 degrees down here and we wanted to run the air con all night and luckily the farmer ken uh, in another upcoming story he said why don't you plug in and that way we could run the aircon all night which was a godsend now if we had 800 amp hours of lithium in there i just say you probably could never ever think about your power again but basically we don't we love how much of a solution this has given us in that we don't ever check the panel anymore and that is always been a thing for Katie. She keeps checking, oh, you know, we're getting to 50%, you know, starting to worry when we had the lead acid system. And, and, and then not having enough solar to really, really top those up or having to plug the vehicle in. No more of that, which is really fantastic. Also, with this Red Arc system, now we don't work with Red Arc, but that is the system that's in here. And it is by far the best solution that we have had. And it's Australian. Actually, I think they're down here in South Australia. Good South Australian company, so support Aussie. But they have a central command station, like a screen that you can monitor and manage the entire power system within the van as you enter the van. Also, the coolest part of this is that you can also have an app and be able to manage that whether you're in the van or out of the van, you're laying in bed, you want to turn everything off without having to get up. How convenient or lazy is that? It is so cool. So we love this system. You can check out more about what we've got here in our Zone van by going to the Zone RV site or visit Red Arc if you're looking at getting something or you know that's a better solution that is Australian owned company then check them out because you won't go wrong. Awesome, back to camping. Where are these two? Oh, oh that was pretty cool. Do you want this? Are you ready to win the ultimate Touring Australia prize pack valued at over $35,000? Wow, now this prize includes from my 4x4 accessories, a canopy. Plus fitment. Yes, and from MSA 4x4 accessories, your choice of storage solutions. Plus, from Stratus Outdoors, one of their adventure packs. From Nike, one of everything. From Outback Tracks, one of everything. A water transfer solution from our good mates at Adventure Pumps. Plus, the ultimate off-road touring pack from Light Force Lighting, like we have on our 79. And to complement your mode canopy, a roof rack from Off-Road Animal and McCormack's four-wheel drive. And Dad, don't forget Expedition 134 storage boxes. Yes, and from Australian 4x4 Treks, a 16-night Cape York tag-along tour for two people, plus six nights relaxing in a luxury bush lodge with our good friends up at Rossville Retreat. This is the ultimate Australian touring pack and it's yours to win. How do you enter? It is so easy. Only two simple steps. Number one, 
subscribe to our YouTube channel, smash that little red button, and number two, complete the entry form on our website with your details. It is that easy. You gotta be in it to win it. Thanks for watching. Please do like, subscribe, and share our channel. And if you'd like more information on full-time RV travel and living, visit our website, thefeelgoodfamily.com. There you'll find loads of free resources, our weekly podcast, caravan cooking recipes, our monthly magazine articles, and much more. We look forward to seeing you next week. Take care of yourself and your family, and happy trails.